all y'all and welcome back to my channel. So I said in my community tab if y'all would want to see like another spoopy Halloween whatever themed haul and a lot of y'all said you know film it we'll watch it. So while I didn't accumulate enough new stuff to do one in the month of October which has been in gone. I did go out and um, sort of ravished the sale section as it were and so the majority of what I'm gonna be showing y'all is like clearance Halloween stuff which I don't it, just, it all makes my heart go pity pat. So I figured this could be kind of like a you know Halloween sale haul. And some of the things that I am gonna show you though are not on sale. I got them at Spirit Halloween but once again did not accumulate enough to do a whole haul but that will be in here as well. Okay so the main part of damage here was actually done at Target. I actually went there before for um, things went on sale. And some of the stuff I was actually like, oh, you cute, you cute, but you, you're gonna be cuter on clearance. Because I feel like unless you like gotta, gotta, gotta have it, so long as you're there on like November 1st, the next day, a lot of the stuff that you had your eyes on is probably gonna be on clearance. So I got a completely unnecessary pillow that says trick or treat. If I'd actually known how much this pillow was gonna be, which was like $3.50, I probably would have bought the other one. There were two of them, but I was like, oh, I'll just get one because sometimes decorative throw pillows can be um ungodly expensive because there's, there's nothing more adult than becoming an adult and realizing how expensive decorative pillows are. But I thought this one was all kind of cute. I loved the color scheme and everything going on here. Just nice and soft and velvet. Got some tassel tassel. I don't have a couch, but what I keep telling my husband is, he's like, where are we going to put this? What are we going to do with it? And I'm like, you know, when we do have a front yard of our own, um, a couch, um, a house to decorate. We're gonna have everything we need. We're not gonna have to buy any then. Which both he and I know is an absolute lie, but that's why we love each other. In Target, I was literally sort of like, you know, you kind of go in, because we went to Michael's before and I was like, eh. Didn't really see anything that got my spooky mojo going. And in Target, it turned into just like, ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Or I'm walking around with like this all whatever, just like, yes, spookiness on sale. And I found this. This ended up being like a dollar fifty which makes me so happy because I know these were the ones that kind of went viral and everyone was like everyone's using these target candy dishes as votive holders all I know is I remember seeing these online and some kind of whatever I'd seen the witch one wasn't really in with that one but this one is just so cute he's just ah he's got a big old mouth and it's adorable so this definitely made me very happy to find and even three dollars if I had found this like before the sale I probably would have bought it even for three dollars but a dollar fifty that's great then sort of in the same vein is this once again these are supposed to be like open candy dish type situation it says trick or treat it's all big nice and wonderful this was originally five bucks so it was 50% off so it was only two dollars and fifty cents I really think this is cute whether I decide to you know put candy in it or not or once again you can get you know those little those little electronic tea lights going on. That's a cute little like piece set somewhere in a house I don't have yet. But all of the stuff obviously has the um, best of intentions. Then also from Target, um, it was actually funny because I did a uh, a vlog where I'm going to Target and I actually looked at these things and was like, you know, eh, I like them, but I'm kind of not gonna get them. So. Then they were on sale, and so I got them. They only had a few of them. It's like a little Halloween village thing. Because you know how, like, they do Christmas villages where you get all the cute little things, but instead, it's a Halloween village. They superior village, in my opinion. This one is just the cemetery one going on here. Most of them were sold out, but, you know, that's okay. So it just looks cute like this. All kinds of 3D going on there. Then they had probably my least 
favorite of all of them, but it's still cute, is the pumpkin house with the little ghost. These, all of these like house ones here going on were $8, so 50% off, that's four bucks. It's just cute. It's gonna be a nice little thing. I am gonna try to complete my village. I'm not sure if they're gonna come back with this sort of thing next year. Um, I know this whole like line, it's the hide and eat Target Halloween line, so we'll just have to see next year. Then this one I was super happy about because literally in that vlog, I was like, this one's my favorite. And it's just this like spooky movie thing going on here. This one was also $8 and I just really like the aesthetic of it and everything like that. I think it's cute. And then they had a bunch of these little figurines. They only had two left of this set. I know they had another set, but they've got a cat, a witch, skeleton with a tree going on here, some gravestones. So I'm like, that's cute. You know, all the cute little accessories, like I said, like you were doing a Christmas village, but a spoopy village. And then I want to show you what my mom actually bought me at Walmart because she and I went and she, we went to get blood work. I went to get, she took me to get blood work done. And then we went to Walmart. We were literally like looking for the spooky section. I'm like, where is it? Erected in the same place where the spooky stuff was, was this horrific um, monolith of Christmas stuff. And so we're running around, we go to the sales section not there. And I kind of resigned myself to not getting any, you know, 50% off spooky stuff. And then we're going through the grocery section and in like the seasonal where all the Halloween candy would be, they'd take in and put all the other stuff. And I think it was 75% off and this was at Walmart. Or maybe it was 50% off. I don't know. But these were actually two of the things I was specifically looking for because when they came out, I'm like, oh, they're cute. Once again, couch pillows for the non-existent couch I do not have. But when they came out, they were like $6 and I'm like, that's a little, that's a little much, but these ones were three. So I got the check one and just the plain black one. And because my mother loves me, she let me get a whole set going on here. So we've got two of the black one and two of the check one. That makes me all sorts of happy once again. When I get to be decorating and all that awesomeness, it will be fan tucking fastic. And then something at Walmart that I didn't even know, like I'd seen it once again. It was one of those things you saw on the internet where like, oh, look, you can get this at thus and such. And I'm like, that's cool. But I never, you know, it's like either sold out or you don't think about it. But they had them. They had them. They had three of them. It's an undead flamingo. Like, what is not to love about this. I mean, like I said, it's an undead flamingo. And I saw the two and I was like, look mom, they're a set and they were like $3 and something something. And they're just so cool. They're everything I could possibly want in an Halloween aesthetic um, decoration. I mean, what spooky person does not want an undead skeleton flamingo? So I have three now. Obviously, um, if I ever have a yard of my own, if I ever have an occasion to truly decorate, this is going to be um, the pinnacle of my Halloween aesthetic. I mean, it's so ridiculous and absolutely amazing. And I have three of them and I need to name them. Um, leave a comment down below uh, what you think I should name my trio of undead flamingos. Then the cool thing at Target is there were actually two bigger decorations that I kind of wanted full price, but you know how you're like, you know, you're just, something's keeping you from pulling that full price trigger. And so when you, when you go in, it's 50% off and you're like, well, I wanted this anyway, so yay me. So I got this big old decorative tombstone, which I literally came home and my husband was like, what, what, why? He's like, sweetie, I love you so much. Where are we gonna put this? And I'm like, I don't know, but look, it's a tombstone. And this part right here lights up up and I've been wanting to get some like, you know, I have a lot of like little decorations and stuff like that, but I wanted to get some like, you know, substantial decorations for like, you know, the existence that I do not currently have right now. And then I'm thinking to myself, what's, you know, if, if one tombstone is good, what's better than one tombstone? Mm -hmm. ah, two of them. I really wanted this one when I went with my friend. It's got that. It's one of those like punny ones. It says, 
Ema Gardner, and that's like, you know, her name, but it's a pun, ha ha ha. Uh, 1971 to 2019. I just really like this one. He's big, he's heavy, he does not light up, and he ended up being $15. Although it does say it's a lit tombstone, I'm like, do you glow in the dark? I have no idea. I just thought he was nifty. And I'm over here gendering tombstones. I think I have just a few issues. So that was the majority of what I got there. I have a few things back here that have kind of just become part of my background. Because what's the point of buying something spooky if you can't utilize it in your background? But they just had these, um, they're completely empty. They're like storage box books. Hideously overpriced. This one was $20. $20. I honestly probably should have waited and gone to Spirit Halloween after, but anytime you wait on something at Spirit, when you go back to get it, it is gone because unlike someplace like Target that may or may not get more than one, Spirit usually just gets one. And so this one is just a Nightmare Before Christmas Oogie Boogie one. I loved the colors and just all the detailing and everything. And once again, I thought this would be a great, you know, background type thing. Same goes with the big, giant, just, you know, traditional Nightmare Before Christmas cover going on. This one was really overpriced at 25 Once again, big, all whatever, just a nice decoration piece. Then over here, I actually got this, um, it's a quote from, oh my goodness, it's a quote from Banks from Hocus Pocus. It says, you're going to turn me into one of those fat, useless, contented house cats, aren't you? I just thought it was cute and I really love Banks from Hocus Pocus. And I also got this thing here, also from um, wherever you might call it, Spirit. It's a little oogie boogie, like jack-o'-lantern type thing. Um, you can turn it on, it lights up. I haven't put any batteries in it. Alas, poor oogie. I knew thee well. So I just thought this one was cute. Then sort of in an absolute last cry of totally unnecessary, I got two big giant plushes of two of the Sanders sisters, Sanderson sisters. We got Winifred and we have Mary. They did not have Sarah. Now I did go into spirit like pretty early on and they're like, I don't know if we got them and this may be stock from last year. So I haven't found her. I am at some point going to find her upon the interwebs and complete the trio. But as for now, we've just got the two, which is honestly way more than um, I actually need. Okay, so there is that going on, just doing, you know, some of that spooky haulness um, and more installments of me buying crap that I absolutely do not need. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know a lot of y'all have been like, you know, just create random, totally different content. We love seeing, you know, you include different things that aren't just makeup. And I'm like, okay, and I'm kind of working towards some of that because sometimes Sometimes it's difficult because at times it can be like, you know, you release something that's not makeup related and it gets like this many views and it makes you a little bit sad inside. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and as always, keep it real. Mwah!